And welcome to the Pixel Club for myself as well, the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Those two people there, they look like jungle explorers, so I needed to use them at the beginning of this video. Because why? Well, this game is set in the jungle, and this game is called Pitfall. And this is on the GameCube we're playing. So we haven't done many games on the GameCube, so I'm quite excited to be playing. But I'm going to be using this little controller here, and a real GameCube controller here, as we use the Dolphin emulator on what we hope is going to be a good game. But the real question, the most important question is, why? Why are we playing this game? Well, this was a request. So when we had the original Pitfall video that we did, and that was on the Android, John Saunders, and hello, my friend, thank you for this request. He says, I know you like Pitfall and Crash Bandicoot. Have you ever tried Pitfall, the Lost Expedition on GameCube, or the same game ported as Pitfall, the Big Adventure on Wii? Just wondering if I should add either to my game library. Well, if this video is going to be any good, then you'll be able to make your choice here. This is obviously the GameCube of I said version. The Pitfall, the Big Adventure, everything I've read about it, interestingly, is an exact the same port of this, but this version is actually bigger in file size than what the V version is. I guess they must be using different compression and stuff like that, but enough of the boring stuff. Yes, enough of the boring stuff. Let's get on with the game and show you what we've got here. So, oh, and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow. So it's starting off in this little intro and stuff like that. And you can see here, it isn't a 2D side game. You know, it looks a little bit 3D. They've made it sound dramatic. They've made it sound exciting. Um, I'm going to hopefully do exactly the same as we go on a journey, as we rush through and try not to die too many times. But yeah, look at our hero run. You know, for all these different environments, this is basically a level game, looking at the pictures, a 3D level game. Let's see what it's like. So fire to start, because we don't want to see all that intro bit. And it wants us to press fire to start again, so off we go. Okay, checking for memory card, and there was nothing there. Okay, scanning, scanning, scanning. So it can't find anything, and remember, we're playing this recreated on the PC. So... The background music sounds quite good as well. Let me turn that up just a little bit for you. Yes, they're going for the dramatic Indiana Jones type stuff. So we're going to do a new game. And it makes it very easy because look, with my controller, the buttons represent what they should. So start. What's it going to do? Are we going to have a cutscene? I generally, generally don't know. Okay, this was unexpected. Okay, I really don't know what's going on here. How is this a start? This looks like some end kind of beast that we've got here. What am I supposed to do? Okay, do I have to attack him? Oh yes, all right, I've got to punch him. Punch the fiery lion. I can't believe it starts like this. Why does it start like this? Why would we fight a lion? Why would we be on fire? You know, we're bashing this pussy quite a bit, aren't we? Right, come on. This has got to be the some kind of flash forward. It has to be. Come on, come at me again. Oh, you see, I've got no health either here. So yeah, this has got to be a flash forward. Yeah. Sorry, Kitty. They say that when a giant demon jaguar turns fire to you, is about to terminate your existence, your life flashes before your eyes. Actually, no one says that. Not a lot of people have experience with giant demon jaguars. So it was a, it was a flash forward. It must be. And as of yesterday, neither did I. 
but that was before I met him. Bittenbinder. Bernard Bittenbinder. PhD, to be precise. Thought we'd get introduced, since the only ones on this plane to South America seems to be you and my group you of... You found that Toltec crystal skull, and discovered that light when shined through it actually slows down. That research wasn't ever published. Who are you? Harry. Most people call me... <laughs> Pitfall Harry. So you assume I'm like most people. What are you doing? Turning on the charm. This is my medium set. Charm's getting to you, huh? That was dramatic, wasn't it? So we've learnt two things. One, he kissed the woman without her permission. In this day and age, there would be trouble for that. Two, he murdered the fat guy by not letting him have the parachute. And three, I watch a lot of air crash investigation and I have never seen a plane go down like this. I wonder what the cause is. And those are great documentaries and I highly, highly recommend them. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Let's walk around. Here is our Harry. Mr. Saunders, we are finally there for you, sir. All right, so we can jump. We can duck. We can change our view. Alright, so we can pan left and right with the view, okay. And then one trigger sort of locks on here. Holy hell, how you would play this. I'm just looking at all the controls I've got available to me, you know, with without the controller. What is he doing there? Is he doing something lewd? You know, some people, I have a Nigerian friend, and he would call this pouncing lessons. And he would say this is pouncing lessons in the middle of the forest. He would. Um, you can figure out yourself what he was doing in the forest there. Alright, okay, let's go running. Jump in. Look at changing our view. This is very good, actually. This is very good how it pulls around. It's got... Oh, oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay, so, we've got five lives, one left. Alright, flip to that bit. Right, okay. You can see the slight change on the turf, on the ground. Oh no, that vine was going to kill us. So I moved out of the way into my depth. Into my depth and death. Right. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. oh we only just survived that. So, double jump to grab the vine. Okay. Instructions. Yay! Okay. Out. Get out of the pits. Oh. There. Oh, look at him go. No, okay. Not that way. We need to press that trigger. To, oh, no, we need to probably steer to face the right way. Slow down. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you, you know this is going to be stressful. So... Pushing backwards, forwards, in a nice rocking motion. And watch him fly, yes! You know what? He's in a forest and I'm just one oh, we're over a proper pit now. I'm just wondering if he will find a very far away horse in this forest. A very far away horse. Okay, what are we coming up to now? A monkey, hello! Oh god, why are you screaming at me like this? What is your problem? Alright, okay. Alright, 
Right, how do we get past those? Okay. Oh, I'm a little bit stuck here as to where we go. We're definitely in the plane. But we can't get past those. How do we do? Oh, that's going to hurt my head. You know what? Let's go back and see. Come on, out. Let me out. Right. Can we hit you? Oh, yes, that's what we do. Yeah, you're going to scream like a monkey, you're going to hit like a monkey. Alright, back in here. And I think we want to head towards that wall. Oh, perfect, yes, we are learning. So the plane made it to the ground. You know, did the big guy make it to the ground? Alright, okay, Fred, yep, so we've done this left and we've done this right. Okay, and was that the start button? Oh, it opens up our book. All right, okay, let's go back. I don't care about our book for the moment. I probably should care about the book. All right, can we hit that and do anything? No. All right. Okay, there's electric stuff going on here. No, definitely nothing we can do there. Alright, there must be something here. Alright, let's break those up. Let's break those up. And you know what? I've never done this on a video now, but it's a little bit dark. It is a little bit dark. Sunglasses were not the best thing to be playing this particular game, no, because it's so bloody dark. All right. You could argue are sunglasses actually the best to be playing any game? I don't know. We've done a couple of videos without the sunglasses on, but no, this was too dark. All right, up here, up here, up here. So we're faffing about having no idea. Oh, there you go. Ha <laughs> ha. What on earth is going on here? Hey buddy, how you doing? Oh, he he's alive. Hello. So we want to grab the treasure. You see. Oh, okay. Very odd. Very odd indeed. All right, explore. Oh, I didn't see what it said in time. Oh, here we are. Do we go up? Right, there's the plane. We've come through that door. So we are. Ah, here you go. <sighs> Healing water. Yes. All right, so we've got five life points there. To the jungle canyon. Okay. Off we go. Well, this is rather fun so far, isn't it? This is actually quite nice. Okay. Five lives again. Oh, there's going to be crocodiles or something here. Oh! Press A to swim fast. Okay, and there's crocodiles. Oh, we probably need to... Oh, I see. Look at this. All right, so we've got to get onto there. We'll take the camera. We... That's quite good, actually. Look at that waterfall. Nice. All right. So, jump on here. Oh, oh, oh. And I saw something over here. Yes. All right, okay. I'm going to try double jumps. Ah, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay, oh, 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 press that to quickly escape. No, that wasn't the right button, was it? No, uh, back, 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 back. No, the same button again. I'm sure it was a little circle button it wanted. Ah, we, we waggle, we waggle, we waggle. There you go, Daily Thompson's decathlon. 
Leap, jump, jump. Hmm. Stress times. Oh, get up, get up. Oh, no, no, you caught me again. Right, waggle, 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 waggle. And I failed. As he jumped, I tried to steer it and push it forward to land on that grass, but that did not work. All right, that bonus treasure we may not be getting. Okay, rotate the camera to look around. Yes, 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 we know this. Nothing there, nothing there. That's over there. Okay, so we don't have the skills yet to get across there. Or I haven't figured out the controls enough. Aha, look, he can put himself up. Hang on. How did I do that? Alright, sod it. Right, waggle, 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 waggle. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we landed back there, for God's sake. Alright, do I need to line you up for a perfect run? Oh, yes, we did it. Alright. <laughs> this is going to be frustrating. And the Harry is to our left as well on the screen, but this is going to be frustrating. Ah, no, it's blocks. Damn it! It's at this point you need a Lara Croft. You really need a Lara Croft. Alright, okay. Oh, get over here, get over here. Right, okay, we have got to... I think we have got to go all the way over there, whether we like it or not. Come on, come on. Oh Jesus, why don't we land back there? You just know that that is important for getting through. There. Oh, oh is that a way up? Is that a way up on the... Let's just try that again. Ow, 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 come on, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, you look at me like that. Alright, so, welcome to Pitfall, where we stay stuck in a, a, in a, in a horrible puddle bit. Oh, oh, oh yes. Alright, now. Was there up? All right, I've got hope now. I have got hope. Slight hope. Slight hope. Yes. All right. Okay. Double jumps on crocodiles. Oh, stressful. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes, come on, jump free. Ah, oh, you piece of poo. <sighs> Alright, here we go again. Oh yes, let's spam back there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, we know about this bloody... Look at... Oh, no, get back up. Oh, 
Rosso, Wiglin, Rosso, Wiglin. Yes, and there we are. Alright, so that must be our strength meter because we've only got one of those left. Hmm. Holy hell, this is so hard. And he's gone. Right, okay, let's press, no, let's not do that one. Let's press that one. Right, let's have a look at options. Controls. Rumble, look mode. Okay, we go back. That was really unhelpful. Let's look at hints. Let's look at hints. Come on, give me hints. Okay, don't give me hints. All right, fair enough. Do I like what I see with this game? Yes, I do like what I see, but I want to see more. You know, it is a little card. It is. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Right, okay. I was trying to hit the crocodile there. Right. Oh, oh no, for mother fuck! I thought that I was stood happily on its back. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go back here. Oh, I'm caught by that one. Oh, stress on a stick. Stress on a stick. You know, we're 23 minutes into this video. And we haven't got past the first bloody... Bits. All right. I know it's a dead end there, but I've got to look again. Yeah, there's oh, there's nothing here. It's greenery. Oh, you are friggin' joking me. The things that look like they've been there for a hundred years. You can bloody punch a mother. All right, here we go. Right, yes, there we go. I know what I'm doing. I'll oh, shut up. Oh. Right, okay, Drumble Canyon. Here we go. Attempt number 2,763. Look around, yeah, right, okay, we are know what we're doing now. Who needs Lara Croft? Look, and we can punch. After all that, we can punch these bloody things. I'm going to find this little monkey. Yeah, oh, we punched him down the hole. Alright, now, now the journey begins. Jump, jump. Get this right. Oh, oh that nearly went wrong. Oh, is that not going to open up? Alright. Yeah. Kick you into touch. You know what these animals are thinking? What the blaze is, is, is he doing? We let him into our jungle, and all he does is beats us up. And I think coins were dropped. I think the monkeys dropped gold coins. Usually monkeys only drop shit, but not gold coins. Let's try again. Maybe, maybe not. All right, there's a well of recovery. No, we don't need that for the moment. Oh, no, look at this. They filled. 
They filled it with vines. Oh no no no! Oh, it, it didn't take me right back. Ah, so this is going to be a save point. You get to here, and you get a save point as well. All right, worth knowing. All right, okay. There is something on that platform over there. I like the way you can turn on the vines, and we're going to hit basically uh, another button. No, we're not hitting the button. I thought a button was going to zoom us in on that, but no. All right, so let's swing. Swing. Wake up that shaman. Oh, we're going to hit you, I guess. How, all right, how do I wake you up? Wake up. Oh, there you go. So, Shaman Shop, the native shaman has a bunch of good stuff for sale. Alright, so, I'm sure those coins we were getting uh, were coins that it was dropping here. And we can buy extra health, I think. Alright, okay, so, using the, the crosshairs, we are going to buy... We should probably buy that, extra health. With this curious magic, the shaman can make me healthier than I've ever been. Yes, right, purchase. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, they disappear. Oh, we've got to buy clever purchases then. All right, so... We could go back this way to the land of the smacked monkeys. But no, we're going to go forward. Have you ever smacked a monkey? If so, tell me what it's like. You know, I'm sure they would bite your bloody fingers off. And also, you'd have to remove the glass if you're in a zoo enclosure. Unless you climb over to do it. Which I don't recommend. Alright, okay, jump. Oh, no. Oh, don't swim. Oh. Okay, for a pitfall game, this is actually really, really good. I've never seen this before. There was lightning there. I'm sure I saw lightning. No. Oh, splats. All right, my mistake was I didn't double push the green. Okay, all right, good lord, it confuses it even more now. All right, turn, let's do some turning. So this is like Lara Croft's mansion. You know, it teaches you how to do stuff. So that means the complicated stuff, we are nowhere near. Looks like I'll need TNT to blow this out. Maybe I'll find some later and come back. All right, so that tells us that you can probably go back on yourselves on this game. Worth knowing. All right, so. Right, big jump. Oh, I nearly forgot to push jump again for the second time. All right, we want to climb down. And there is a there's a save point. Unless this is the first save point. No. Oh, I nearly walked off the edge. Okay. Let's jump in here. Oh, yeah. Fill ourselves back up. Oh yeah. You know. And you know, let, let, let's do some prancing lessons. There you go. You need to look that up or find a Nigerian friend who will help you with that. And that's a true, honest to God story about prancing lessons. All right. Okay. Okay. Jump. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go. God, that would make you see sick, wouldn't it? Oh, oh crocodiles. Bugger. Shit six.
Come on, let me out, let me out the water. Oh, this is a catastrophe. Oh, right, go back, go back, go. Oh, no. Yes, I'm quickly doing it, I'm quickly doing it. Ah, just where I want to be. Are you fucking joking? Oh, yes. Oh, we did it. Okay, and here we are. Impossible walls that I've learned. You could just punch your way through. Mr. Sanders, what a marvellous suggestion for a game. Thank you. Buy it, buy it. Absolutely buy this. Okay. Two puncher can shrine? Yeah, this doesn't look like you want to go in here, does it? Oh, we've got new things to learn. Roll. I'm sure that roll button didn't do that before. Maybe it adds these controls as you go as you learn them. All right. There's something sleeping. The tiger sleeps tonight. Oh, mother, what the fuck? Oh, oh dear lord, roll, roll. That was horrible. That was legitimately horrible. Roll, roll, come on. Right, this is definite Indiana Jones vibes. Oh yeah, we want we want to go in there. Oh Ooh. yeah. Oh yeah. Conveniently put pots. Oh, that's not good. Why would a bush do that? Oh, that was a bad guy there. The purple flower looked like it wanted to be hit, so I hit it. Those poor guys who were in the shrine there, they must have been waiting a hell of a long time for something to happen, and did I just see the screen shake a little bit? on my map so I can come back later okay so we need a we got webs that we've got to burn all right where do we go where do we go big faces you know what I think we need to stand on these yes <laughs> all right what did it change? Aha! Oh look, you can see the little you can see the little light in the distance where we came from, up through there. Oh, how cool is that? You know, the draw distance and everything. That, 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 this is really lovely. Okay, we're in a big room now. Oh, they're coming down. Things are coming down. Oh, can't get up there yet. All right, turn around. It's a path. It's a path. So, why are they down? What is different? What is different? We don't have a torch, so we can't do anything with that. I think that path is important. It has to be important, otherwise it wouldn't be there. 
All right. These are all back up. Oh, hang on. Aha. All right. We've brought the path down. Now, I think that we might need to... Is that going to change what happens to these? Yeah, because we've got to get up there. Look at that. We've got to get up at the top. All right. So all of those. Oh, here we are! Here we are. Oh, I missed it. I was trying to get to the top. I was trying to get to the bloody top. Oh. All right, let's do it again. Let's do this again. How are we doing for time? How are we doing for time? 37 minutes. Gotta be the, that, that, that's got to be the way. Let's try one more time. Yes! <laughs> We've done it. We got up there. Right, okay. We might have a new... Oh, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, finally. That was a little bit challenging. That really was. Okay, to position the camera up higher or lower. All right, so... This is given more and more as you go. So that's turning. All right, and now we can... Oh, okay. Yeah, we turn it. Well, haven't figured that bit out yet, but you know what? Aha! All right. Is he banging his chin on it? Is he got? Look at that! What's his chin? What? Hello. You are one creepy golem-type creature. Don't laugh at me that way. That's just not nice. Okay, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? He's behind the web. This looks like this is the only way forward down here. To plain cockpit. So we've got through the jungle. That took us long enough, didn't it? Oh, oh, bad things. You need you need to purchase more powerful attacks. Oh great. Oh no 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 stay that Haha <laughs> yeah I beat you. Alright, okay. Now, now, now what do we do? Look at these little guys there. This game, this game keeps on giving. Right, so it's gonna be a double jump. 
Not like that. Oh, all right, go down, climb down, climb down. Uh, no, 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 don't swing that way, no. Ah, damn you, damn you, come on, right. Be the best Lara Croft you can be. She wouldn't be messing about like this. Nice. All right, here we are. Do we go under? No, I guess we go round. Hmm. Oh my. All right. Okay. Let's think a little bit about what we're doing here. I'm just sort of glancing at the screen over here because I've got a, a, a view with a slightly lighter screen here that we've got. Um. And by lighter screen, it's. Not as dark. See, there is only this way to go. You know, see, we can't get past that, we can't get up it. The plane cockpit looks like it's um in a position where it's impenetrable. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, I fell off. All right, let's try getting up here. What is that under there? Okay, so I'm in a little bowl, a ball now, trying to get to that thing on the floor that I can't get to. Okay, a little bit stuck about what we do now. You know, let's try one more thing. No, I wanted to grab the rope. Right, there we go, there we go. Right, turn. I'm remembering we swung really high at one point in the jungle, and I'm wondering. Yes, haha! All right, and a little roll, a little roll, I think, probably. Sweep kick Y and B. Hey, hey, you made it. Any other survivors? The doctor, Mr. Leach, went off to find the others. Now they took that tank, the Gizmo 85. Yes, a real improvement over the Gizmo 84. Follow the tracks, I'm sure you'll find them. Will you help us locate everyone? I, uh, get to rescue the girl? I suggest you let her think she rescued herself. Here, you might try gathering water from that pond out there. Oh, it's very clean. Tasty, even. I think it may even possess healing properties. And it looks like you could use some healing. Thanks. Then follow those tracks. Me, I've got a fire. When I found out that Bittenbinder had survived the crash, I decided I'd follow his tracks to see if I could hitch a ride. I didn't know my choice would ultimately lead me to becoming lunch for a demonic jaguar, so off I went with my new canteen in hand. Right, two things. One, I nearly jumped because this controller just jumped off the desk when he flew away because it's actually got a rumble feature here and I did not realize when connected uh, to a PC. Um, it actually works that way. And just to share with you while we're doing this, up you come. I can't remember exactly what it is, but I'm using a Wii U adapter to connect to the PC for this. And, you know, it works absolutely fine. And secondly, if I was 
the fat guy there, I would have shot him in the face for leaving him to die in the plane. But we're not going to do that. We're going to play this just a little bit more. So we are going to do exit for there. And we're going to see where we go. All right, you've received the canteen. It can carry the healing water found in magic fountains. To drink, equip it. Okay, with the up uh, button on. The thing about these Wii controllers, they've got so many bloody buttons. You know, you need to be a bloody... So no, not Wii, GameCube. GameCube. You've got to be a bloody octopus to be able to use them. All right, okay. So we'll give this another 15 minutes or so worth of play. All right, so... Alright, and look at this. New things now, new things. You're not seeing it fully on the screen um, because somehow the screen ha ha has gone into a widescreen mode, which is a, a little bit odd. So bear with me a few seconds. So, what we're going to do, what we're going to do, and we've, we've, we've never done this before, is we are going to switch to widescreen live on a game stream. And here we are in widescreen. So we've lost the barriers of things, but it went to widescreen, and we've now got these uh, the inventory stuff that you can see there. So yeah, all looking a little bit different. But you know, we've we've got to carry on. We've got to carry on. All right. Okay. Where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we go? We don't. Want to, do we? Do we go out here? No, we don't go out there. No, we don't go out here. I'm just looking at the slightly brighter screen to try and see where we go. Let's turn the view around. Let's turn the view around a little bit. Uh, okay, um, not quite what I expected. Not quite what I expected. Come on, how do I get out of here? No, it's got to be that window. There you go. All right. This game is going to be stressful the more you play it. But as I said, it's a game that keeps on giving because look, you know, apart from we're now in widescreen, yes, widescreen live at the Gentleman's Pixel Club, um, you know, and that's strange since we went from that cutscene, it opened into widescreen. But remember, we are playing effectively on an, uh, an emulated system using the Dolphin emulator here. But the gameplay is pretty much what you'd expect. There's a healing fountain. So boom, let's go in there. Okay, up to equip the canteen. Okay, C to refill it. I'll push that down. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You've got little blue things above the, the circle things. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting this now. I'm getting this. So it looks like we can carry four objects as well. So where do we go? Where do we go? Where, let's go up here and worry about the monkeys. Okay, I can't get up to the monkeys. Why can't I get up to the monkeys? You know what? Let's go over here and have a look around. Is there something I am not seeing? Run! Are oh, you a stupid, stupid little man? Offices me the stupid here, not not not, not the little man, because I'm controlling him. All right, quick look here. There was probably a, a command that I missed. Oh, hang on. No, let's go. Let's try going. I was going to try and go up that tree route, but no, I can't go up that tree route. Yeah, those are the only things around. Oh, damn you monkeys. Oh, don't let me be stuck here forever. Oh. Nope. All right. Hmm. Looks pretty oh, rickety. Ah.
All right, you need to obviously get up that tree, up that little stump bit here that we can not see because it's too close. Come on, I'm doing A and B. There you go. I knew we could get past this. Now we're going to go and annoy the monkeys. Huh? Oh. Oh. They passed out. Oh, bless them. They passed out. All right. So let's go to the native jungle. What's are these? Oh, they're pointing. They're pointing. All right. Okay, native jungle, here we go. What is going to be next? Alright. Yes, look at... Oh, holy fuck. Okay, okay. Well, this truly is pitfall now, isn't it? Oh, that one's got me. We, we did well. We got quite far down this. Oh, don't steer that way. Finish him. Mortal Kombat. Alright, so let's practice the healing now. So we had to push up to equip that. Oh no, up to equip it. Oh, there we go. There you go, the, the little yellow stick of pointing works. Alright, what is this? Oh, tilt lightly to sneak, to creep. See, look how it adds things. Oh dear lord, what have we done? What have we unleashed? They're all throwing shit at us. Yeah, okay, so we tilted lightly. And they look like, oh good lord. What have they got for us? Alright. Ah, see, you're not even real. You are all fake ass natives. Oh, you're real. Hello. Alright, got rid of you. Got rid of you. Right, we're going to go down this way. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, we need that to close. Is that going to close? Okay, let's try the big jump. Alright, and these are these bloody things that we can punch through from the beginning that we missed. But knowing that there's torches to collect and stuff like that, I bet we can go all the way back if we choose. Alright, look at the brighter screen to see what we have. Oh, I hear them screaming. I hear the monkeys screaming. Okay. Alright, generally, where do we go? We've gone through there. We've caused chaos down there. And then this way. It's just forwards, forwards, forwards. I still hear you. Oh, 
Ah, of course. And we will jump in here for more youth. Ah. What is what? 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 Right, why you would guard this, I don't know, because I have infinite health basically because of that. Oh! Okay, so. Oh! I was about to say we crossed the top, but no, it's this side, there's more of you. Come to me, come to me. Alright, up we go, up we go. How we do the time? Alright, so we got across the big pit. Alright, that's done. We've got to roll through the gap. Okay, we're not going to worry about health because we're approaching the end of the video. We've got to do this. You pile of poo. Yeah, you, you chance at me for that after knocking me off that. Alright. Long way. Right, so for Pitfall to be made into a game like this, it works. It really works. Right, okay. Let's line up perfectly. Yes! Oh, no! Whoa, 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 is that not a good whoa, whoa, whoa? Right, okay. A leap of faith into the unknown there. A few things we can hit. Okay, the old two altar of Utica. Alright, I can't break that down. There's a lot of voices, a lot of annoyed voices. Damn, come here. And we died. And we finally died. It finally beat us. Alright, okay, so let's take us back to the native jungle bit where you have a true pitfall looking screen as you go down here. It really has. And, you know, that cutscene, again, we're, we're still back in widescreen, but hey, that works, that works, and I have no problem with that. But John Saunders, my friend, you know, you wanted to see this game. I hope you like what you see. I really do. This is a great game. And you know what? It's actually a real, real hidden gems. We've played Pitfall before, and I remember Pitfall the Mayhem Adventure on the SNES, I believe it was. I'm sure it was the SNES or the Mega Drive, but I think SNES, where you got so far, and it was like you, you couldn't go any further off the first sheet. It was so friggin' hard. You know, this is a cross between Lara Croft mixed with Pitfall, blended together with a little bit of Indiana Jones thrown in. And does it work? Yes, it absolutely works. You know, I really, really recommend this. You know, I don't know the difference between this and the Wii version. I guess it's a case of your system of choice, GameCube or Wii, because they're meant to be exactly the same. But progression is fun. You know, this hour has absolutely flown by in doing this. So, yeah, thanks for the recommendation. I've had a lot of fun. I even changed my glasses, and we took these ones off and put these one on. Stay safe, take care, and I will see you in the next video.
goodbye.